now we are going to see the problem based on projectile motion a cricket ball is thrown at a speed of 28 meter per second that is the initial velocity is 28 meter per second in a direction 30 degree above the horizontal that means in a projectile motion in a projectile motion this is the projectile motion it is thrown with the initial velocity u and making an angle theta so it will comes like this so the theta is 30 degree and the initial velocity is 28 meter per second so they are calculating what is the maximum height attained by this body that is the formula is such is equal to u squared sin squared theta by 2g so you have to memorize these formulas thoroughly for uh, solving the problem so u is a 28 and the sine theta is at uh, 30 degree by 2 into 9.8 so by substituting these values you get an answer maximum height is 10 meter so the next question next subdivision is time taken by the ball to return the same level so what is this so time taken by the ball to return the same level means a horizontal distance that is from initial point to final point what is the maximum time taken this is a projectile motion so it make an angle theta so the what is the initial and final point this is the initial and final point total time taken they are taken that means time of flight so the time of flight is 2u sin theta by g substituting the u value 28 and theta is at 30 degree and g is 9.8 so finally we get 2.9 seconds so they are never give the time of flight they are saying that time taken by the ball to return to the same level means horizontal level starting from the horizontal and ending to the horizontal this is a time of flight you have to understand the question clearly then next the horizontal distance from the tower thrower to the point where the ball returned to the same level again i will say that the horizontal distance from the thrower to the ball where it is written to the same level that means this is a horizontal distance what is this horizontal distance yes this is range so they are not directly asking what is the range they are explaining that the horizontal distance so r is equal to u squared sin 2 theta by g so u is a 28 into 28 2 theta means 30 into 2 we get sin 60 degree by 98 by substituting these values we get an answer 69.3 meter so the question is a direct question they are giving a initial velocity and a degree alone so we are able to find maximum height we are able to find the time of flight we are able to calculate the maximum range so these equations only used in the racket propulsion also second problem a boy stands at 39.2 meter from the building so the height of the building is 39.2 and throws a ball with which just passes through a window 19.6 meter above the ground calculate the velocity of the projectile so very simple students so they are given that what is the tan theta is equal to formula is already we are studied that tan theta is equal to 4h by r they are given the maximum height read the question carefully a boy stands at a 39.2 meters from the building and throws a ball just passes through the window 19.6 so we have to take on that 4 into 19.6 is a height and r is a range how you take that range is a 39.2 as a 78.4 listen students a boy stands 39.2 meter from the building this is the building so from the building 39.2 meter he is standing away so he throws a ball just a ball will passes through the window the height of this window is 19.6 meter 19.6 meter so this is a question so understand the question clearly the height of the window is so this is the maximum height the range is 39.2 plus 39.2 so this is a this distance is 39.2 means total distance will be two times so the range is 78.4 just we will get an answer one so at what angle of the tan theta is answer is one 45 degree tan 45 degrees one so the calculate the velocity of the projectile for only they are asking that we are calculating the theta value that is so we are calculating the theta value so the range which is equal to u squared sin 2 theta by g substitute this 45 degree sin 2 theta is a 90 degree sin 90 is 1 so you get u squared by 
G. So the u is equal to you bring the g this side r into g. Then u square you take a u is equal to square root of r into g. Substitute this r value seventy eight point four and the g value nine point eight. We get an answer twenty seven point seven meter per second. So I will show that problem very slowly to you for copying in your classwork note. The first problem you are seeing that cricket ball thrown at a certain Velocity with an angle 30 degree, and the second problem it is a uh, calculating a maximum. Sorry, it is calculating a initial velocity. So this topic is very very important for JEE and NEET problems also as well as a NCERT exam point of view.